Yeah, hi, I'm John Five from Rob Zombie, and uh, we're at Mayhem. Let's start with the name. How did you and the band decide on the name, and what's the meaning behind it? Uh, you know what? I don't know. That's a great question. I know White Zombie was from a film with Bella Lugosi back in the early 30s. And then Rob Zombie's name, yeah. hence Rob Zombie, hence the band name Rob Zombie. That's good. Um, how did you guys form a band and how long has your current lineup been together? Let's see, I've been with Rob for almost nine years and uh, then we got Piggy D in our band, so he's been in the mix for like probably seven years and uh, close to eight years. And Ginger, who is from Marilyn Manson, he's been in the band for about two years. How's that? It's good. Is that good? It's good. Okay. How many releases have you put out, and what would you like to tell the fan about your newest release? How many releases have I put out? Well, let's see. I don't know how many, let's see, okay, let's go through this. Hellbilly Deluxe, or is this my instrumental stuff or Rob Zombie stuff? Let's say your stuff. Okay, my stuff. Okay, okay. there's Vertigo, there's Song for Sanity, there's Devil Knows My Name, there's Remixploitation, there's Art of Malice, there's Requiem, these are not murder, and then uh, God Told Me To, and um, you know, God Told Me To, I, it's, you know, my favorite, it's the one that's out right now, and uh, did a cover of Michael Jackson's Beat It on there, and uh, it's really cool, it's really exciting, it's been getting great reviews, and then um, I'm on a new album right now, so uh, more to come in the future. Awesome. Who are your musical influences growing up? Uh, I loved, you know, growing up, like, I just watched a lot of TV, so I would say, you know, anything that was on TV, like Hee Haw, I really enjoyed Hee Haw, and, uh, you know, she's like, what? What is Hee Haw? He's laughing. He loves it. Do you know what Hee Haw is? See? Then, uh, the monkeys, you know, I watched the monkeys. Do you know what the monkeys are? Who is in the monkeys? I don't know, Name but one, I remember. One person. I don't know, though. Okay. So then we have, uh, after that, let's see, you know, and then Kiss came along and Van Halen, and then I've had epiphanies all through my life and just love being inspired by, you know, people. Okay. Well, what do you currently listen to? Um, let's see, what do I currently listen to? Oh, you know what? There's a great guitar player. You're definitely not going to know this. And Mr. Cameraman's not going to know this either. But there's an old country guy in the 50s named Joe Mathis, and he is just wonderful. I love him. And I love this new uh, this rap group from South Africa called Die and Word. And it's so good. Oh, man, it's so good. So that's all this. Okay, awesome. Um, who was the person that gave you confidence to pursue a musical career? Let's see, I guess my parents were pretty supportive, you know. They said, I just, I think, I think it's hard kind of for me, so I just uh, loved playing. I just really was into it. But my parents were supportive. I could play like nightclubs. How old are you? I'm 18. Okay, so well, I was really young. Let's see. I was probably like in, you know, 7th, 8th, ninth grade, and my parents would just say, as long as you get up for school, you can play these nightclubs. So I would play these nightclubs like really young, so it was great. Um, when you're not on stage performing, what do you do on the road? I usually, I always play guitar. I know it doesn't sound very exciting, but I'm always sense. playing guitar. Always. I love to watch TV and just play guitar and write and just... It's all I love to do. And then I'll say, oh, I have to go to the bathroom. And then I'll go to the bathroom and go back to writing and playing guitar. And, you know, that's pretty much all I do. It's, it doesn't sound very exciting to the, you know, the people, but to me it's pretty exciting. I can understand that. Yeah. Um, where do you think the metal music industry is headed and what are your future plans for it? Well, our future plans are just, you know, continue touring and supporting this record. And we're going to go to South America to Brazil, do this Rock and Rio thing, and just tour and just keep doing what we're doing. We're having a great time, and the shows have been wonderful. So uh, we're really having a good time. Awesome. Yeah. Great.
jealous. <laughs> what songs do you really think get the crowd going? You know what? That's a fine question because we contemplate and have discussions about this all the time because we really want to give the crowd the best show possible. So we've been changing the set every show just about to see what's going to give the best reaction. So, of course you have Super Beast and you have Dragula and Thunder Kiss and, uh, you know, things like that. So people really enjoy it. But we're going to throw in some Old White Zombie, you know, today and see, you know, how people react. I'm excited for that. Okay, good. <laughs> um, what's your favorite song to play live? So I'd probably say that one, yeah. Um, what's a must-have backstage? What about any, any, any of your song, anything? Huh? Anything, not just zombie, any song, what is your favorite song to play live? Uh, any song to play live, you know, there's a new song that I'm working on, on my in new instrumental record, it doesn't even have a title yet, but I love to play that live, because that's what I play in my solo, and uh, so that's what I like to play. Good answer. Um, what's a must-have backstage? A must-have backstage is my guitar, of course. <laughs> I love to pick and grin. Um, and, you know, I think good music. We have like a backstage playlist, you know, that we listen to to get ourselves, you know, psyched up for the show and stuff like that. So, uh, just songs and, you know, I guess the other members of the band is a must-have backstage. I would hope so. Yes. Um, what would you like to say to all of your fans watching you? Um, I would like to say, you know, come out to the show. You're going to really enjoy it. You're going to love it. And everybody keep practicing because if you don't do it, someone else is going to. Good answer. Well, I'd like to thank you for coming on Rebel Access TV. Hey, this is John Five from Rob Zombie, and you're watching Rebel Access TV.